Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel and I'm going to be doing a monthly plan with me in my sugar and spice planner for May. And I already wrote down all the important stuff that's coming up on the sticky notes and I have one season, a seasonal page here because Mother's Day is this month and also Memorial Day, but I don't have a Memorial Day sticker here. I don't. I'll put it on after the fact. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Choose Happy Mini um, because it's just a really cute planner. I mean, sticker book. And so, first thing I'm going to do is put this Mother's Day sticker down. Right. Oops. Okay. Let's put that down right there for Mother's Day. And I'm going to take up all of these. I wrote the dates on all of them. So, I would know. And we're just going to take all of these up. I've never done a plan with me in my monthly before. So when this was suggested, I was like, oh, okay, let me go ahead and do that. So I can show you how I plan. Now, I know it's funny to me because I've seen a lot of people say they don't know how to use their monthlies. And that boggles my mind because I'm like, how do you not know how to use <laughs> your monthly spread? I use my month. My monthly spread is... The thing that starts my weeks I fill out my monthly spread before I even start my weekly planning and I always look at my monthly spread before I plan out my week so this has to be done before I do anything else so that is where I stand on that so if you can fill out a weekly you can plan a monthly so we're gonna go through here and I really like this sticker right here it says be brave enough to dream and I am actually going to put this right here right at the top up there there we go and then I'm going to take this one it has the leaves on it right here and I'm gonna put that down here I really don't decorate a ton in my monthlies because um, for the simple fact that I need room to write. I like this one too. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this right, right there. And so that's part of the reason why I don't do a lot of decorating because I want room to write. And I love these leaves right here. And so I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that up there, right in the corner. And I like this one. It says, do your best, forget the rest. And I'm going to put that right here, right over that. And then let's see. I like this flower. And I don't really have a plan when I go into, um, you know, how to decorate. I just like, oh, okay, I like that. And I put it down. And then I like. I like that layered on top of that. And so let's see what else is in here. All right. Okay. And these are all, these are all, they're seasonal. Not seasonal, but they're all color coordinated a bit. And so, um, let's see. So all the pages like kind of go together and whatnot. And let's see. So, I like this one that says today, and there's little bitty numbers on there. But what I'm going to do is, I don't care about actually staying on the sticker, I just need the number so I can write all the way across. And I like this one that says happy day. I'll just, I just want to put it like right there, because it's the weekend, so happy day. And... I like this little strip sticker right here. I kind of want to put it just right here, just to give a little bit more decor on this side. And then this one, it has the leaves. I kind of want to put it right there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's see. 
I do like this one to just go like right there. All right, so I guess we can start writing things down now. All right, so I do have these housework stickers and I do have Oh, some Sophie stickers that we're gonna use. And so I do have an Ikea package coming on May 4th. My Alex drawers for my makeup, the nine drawer. So we're gonna put that right there. And then we're going to put, um, payday is on the 15th, right there. And this one that has planning, I plan out every Thursday. And so we're just gonna put Sophie right there. And then I think that's it as far, okay. And then laundry, you can do, you can do the other stickers for laundry. Laundry is always midweek and then the weekends. And so I kind of just put it right there, wash day. And then, and then wash day. Okay, can we get the sticker up? On the weekend. And then trash, I have the blue, the blue can or recyclable can gets, it's the seventh. Oh no, it's the eighth. And then the 22nd. All right, and then every Friday, our regular trash gets emptied. Okay, and that is it as far, oh, is my, in my Etsy. Oh, I can just do that for bill pay. I don't necessarily need to put that down there. Okay, so now we can write things down. All right, so the first week of May, um, I have, okay, first off, first off, Haley has independent study every single Monday. And so I will just put Haley IS at 1 p.m. And I'll just put an arrow down. And then for two, I'll put Tuesday since that's a Memorial Day. And so I'll put Haley IS at 1. And then every Wednesday is Alyssa early. And I'll put an arrow down. This lets me know that it's every single Wednesday. Um, trash emptied. Okay. And then what else? Okay. So we have Aaron has an ortho appointment on the 8th. Ortho at 2 p.m. And then Haley has an ortho appointment on the 29th. Um, where is that at 4.30? Okay. And then Ikea. And then the third is a thing at Alyssa School for the Gold Rush for California. They're going to have the People that did the mining at 8.50, come and do a presentation. She wants me to go. Oops. And then actually that last week is finals week for Haley. All right. And so that is what's going on. Unless I'm looking at everything. Okay. Those are all the sticky tabs. All right. So this is what's going on for the month or whatever. I know the last day of school is the first. Um, so I will also put, I'll put last week of school. I can't believe the last week of school is, is coming up. <laughs> and that is, and so I'm going to put over here. I'm actually going to, I don't even have a sticker like that, but anyway, I'm going to put over here plan vacation for June. My daughter's 10th birthday is in June and we're going to Disneyland. And 
what else is going on for the month. When it comes to my home planner, I write down the things that I know are going on every single month. And then I fill it in as things come up. And so I do know um, every Thursday I need to set out trash. And I have to write that down, otherwise I'll forget. Set out trash. And then over here I'll put set out blue can. And then. All right. And then, you know, we have laundry on the weekends and laundry midweek. And, oh, we need to make sure I dust. And that's pretty much it as far as planning out my month. And when appointments come up, um, I just write them down. I'm making sure um, Okay, and that is pretty much how I plan out my month. And when things pop up, I just add them down. Because if something comes up the first week of May, I know it's not happening to the middle. I write it down that way when I plan out my week, I remember to write it down. And that's how I plan out my months. So it's pretty simple for me. I know a lot of people are confused and that I'm confused how they are confused. But yeah, I always utilize my monthly every single month. It is what gets me through each and every week. Especially when you have kids. I'm pretty sure people who have kids probably utilize their monthlies with appointments and whatnot. And that's pretty much what I do it for. So, yeah. That is how I um, fill out my monthly. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you were kind of confused on it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.